unlock the secrets of the rarest element on Earth, a substance so elusive it's found in only minuscule amounts in nature. With a half-life shorter than a day, its scarcity has puzzled scientists for decades. But what makes it so special? Join us as we uncover the mystery. Hello, and welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be discussing the rarest element on Earth. This elusive substance is found in only minuscule amounts in nature, and with a half-life shorter than a day, its scarcity has puzzled scientists for decades. But why is it so rare, and what makes it so special? That's what we're here to find out, so sit back and enjoy the ride as we uncover the mystery of this unique element. When it comes to understanding the makeup of Earth's crust, many people may automatically assume that the most abundant element is a metal. However, the reality is that the most prevalent element is actually oxygen. But why focus specifically on naturally occurring elements in the Earth's crust? The simple answer is that anything beneath the crust is not only inaccessible for mining purposes, but also for research and exploration. The depths of our planet are a mystery to us, and the Kola Superdeep Borehole at over 12,000 meters is the deepest hole we've ever attempted to dig. But even this incredible feat of engineering is merely scratching the surface of what lies beneath. The Earth's crust can reach depths of up to 40,000 meters, meaning that the Kola Superdeep Borehole likely wasn't even halfway down before the mining machines were damaged by the intense heat from the Earth's mantle. Because of this, we don't have any precise measurements of what lies beyond the crust. Even lava, which is thought to have come from the mantle, mostly consists of material from the crust that is simply melted due to contact with the mantle. This means that lava offers little insight into the composition of the mantle itself. Our best estimates suggest that the core of the Earth is made up of 89% iron, 5.8% nickel, and 4.5% sulfur accounting for 99.3% of the material in the Earth. However, the remaining 0.7% is typically labeled as trace elements. Oxygen, in particular, is found in the form of rocky oxides and constitutes an astonishing 46.5% of the Earth's crust. But it's not just oxygen that is prevalent. In fact, the top 10 most common elements make up an impressive 99.3% of everything found in the Earth's crust. This means that these elements play a crucial role in shaping the planet we call home, and understanding their abundance and distribution is crucial in understanding the Earth as a whole. Interestingly, the tenth most abundant element on Earth may come as a surprise to some. Hydrogen, which is often thought of as a gas, is actually present in the Earth's crust in small amounts. In fact, it's only four times more abundant on Earth than titanium, a commonly known metal. However, hydrogen is the most common element in the universe and makes up an astounding 74% of all matter. While it may be surprising to some, it is worth mentioning that when the Earth was newly formed, hydrogen made up 40% of our atmosphere. But over time, most of it floated away into space due to its lightness. This process continues to this day, and even now, the Earth loses an estimated 95,000 tons of hydrogen each year just from it leaking into space. It's quite mind-boggling to think about the vastness of the universe and how even the smallest elements play a role in shaping our planet. Now, let's shift focus to some of the rarest elements on Earth. Astatine. Moving on to the topic of rare elements, you might be surprised to learn that cerium, a rare Earth element, holds the spot for the 25th most common element on Earth. However, there are even rarer elements out there, such as astatine. This element is so rare that it can be found in trace amounts on Earth, making it one of the most elusive and intriguing elements in the periodic table. Yes, you heard that right. Astatine, a member of the halogen group on the periodic table, is an incredibly unstable rarest element on Earth, with a name derived from the Greek word astatos, meaning unstable, it is fitting that astatine is one of the rarest and most unstable elements on the planet. With a total of 39 isotopes, most of which have a half-life of just one second or less, it is no surprise that astatine is incredibly difficult to study. Even the most stable isotopes of astatine have half-lives ranging from only 5 to 8 hours. 
This means that at any given moment, most of the astatine that exists today will not exist tomorrow and may not even have existed when this article began. Astatine is so unstable. Astatine is so unstable that we currently know very little about its properties and characteristics. Any images or representations of astatine that we have are not actually of astatine itself, but rather theoretical representations based on current knowledge. This element is so rare that it is estimated that only 30 grams of astatine exists naturally on Earth at any given time. But worry not, scientists have been able to infer certain properties of the element based on the behavior of other halogens. As a member of the halogen group on the periodic table, astatine is expected to have similar properties to other elements in the group. For example, it is predicted that astatine would be a solid, black metallic color due to the trend of halogens getting darker as they get heavier. However, it is important to note that due to the extremely limited amount of astatine that exists on Earth, it is currently impossible to observe the element directly. All of the astatine on Earth is the result of the radioactive decay of larger atoms, mostly thorium, uranium, and just a little neptunium. It is estimated that less than one gram of astatine exists on Earth at any given time, which is a minuscule amount compared to the total mass of the Earth. Despite its instability and rarity, astatine does have some potential practical uses. It has been suggested that astatine could be used in cancer treatment as a way to target and kill cancer cells and it may also have potential applications in nuclear medicine. Astatine-211, a radioactive isotope of astatine, has been studied as a potential treatment for cancerous tumors. This isotope emits alpha particles, which can kill cancer cells while minimizing damage to healthy cells. But due to its instability and the challenges associated with studying it, research to the potential uses of astatine is ongoing and further research is needed to develop practical applications for this element in medicine. While the challenges of instability and study make researching astatine-211 difficult, the ongoing investigation into its potential as a cancer treatment persists. Now, let's take a look back at the history of astatine. The History of Astatine Dmitry Mendeleev the mastermind behind the creation of the periodic table predicted the existence of an unknown element that would fill the blank space on the table for element number 85. He even gave it the temporary name Eka Iodine due to its position being directly below iodine in the halogen group. However, the search for this elusive element was plagued with inconsistencies and false claims. In 1931, Fred Allison of the Alabama Polytechnic Institute claimed to have discovered the element and named it Alabamine. However, his results were not able to be replicated and there were faults found in his equipment. In 1938, Horia Houlebege and Yvette Cachois of Sorbonne in Paris published results of their discovery of Element 85, but their research was disrupted by the outbreak of World War II. It wasn't until 1940 that a group of researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, were able to artificially produce astatine by bombarding bismuth-209 with alpha particles in a particle accelerator. They named it astatine from the Greek word meaning unstable due to its highly radioactive and unstable nature. However, another group of researchers, Berta Karlick and Trod Bernert, also independently identified and characterized the element in the early 1940s. They proposed the name Viennium, but were not aware of the discovery made by the Berkeley group due to the war. They still continued to study the element and added greatly to the knowledge about its decay chain. Lastly, the discovery of astatine was a long and winding road, with multiple claims and controversies. But ultimately, it was the collaboration and contributions of several scientists that led to the successful identification and characterization of this elusive element. Now, let's dive into the current research being done on astatine and how advancements in technology are aiding our understanding of this unique element. Astatine Current research Astatine, a rare and highly radioactive element, is currently being studied for its potential use in cancer treatment. Researchers believe that astatine's behavior, similar to that of iodine, may allow it to collect in the thyroid gland and destroy cancer cells with its radiation. A team of French scientists has developed a radio immunotherapy method that utilizes radionuclides, emitting either beta or alpha particles. 
Astatine 211, an isotope with a longer half-life than traditionally used bismuth 213, has been studied for use in alpha therapy and is produced in particle accelerators. Studies of astatine 211 for cancer treatment have been ongoing since 1989, with promising results in trials involving bone marrow transplants in leukemia patients, stem cell transplantation studies in mice, and chemotherapy treatments for brain tumor patients. The researchers have found that using astatine 211 in RIT can greatly improve the efficiency of treating tumors and other cancers, particularly when treatment is started early. This method also has the potential to kill remaining tumor cells that are resistant to chemotherapy and radioactive therapy. Overall, astatine 211 RIT is a promising method of cancer treatment that merits further research in clinical trials. Lastly, the rarest element on Earth, astatine, is a fascinating and elusive substance that has puzzled scientists for decades. Its scarcity, found only in trace amounts on Earth, make it a truly unique and mysterious element. But just because it's rare doesn't mean it's insignificant. Astatine, like all elements, plays a crucial role in shaping the planet we call home. Imagine a world without astatine. It would be like painting without its final brushstroke, a symphony without its final note. It is the smallest details that make the Earth the beautiful and diverse planet that it is. And by understanding the abundance and distribution of these elements, we can continue to unlock the secrets of our planet and discover new mysteries that we never knew existed. Astatine, the rarest element on Earth, may be elusive, but it's also an integral part of the Earth's makeup, and it's exciting to think about what other secrets it may hold. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching our video on the rarest element on Earth, astatine. We hope you found it informative and engaging. The world of elements is vast and fascinating, and astatine is just one small piece of the puzzle. If you enjoyed learning about this elusive element and the role it plays in shaping our planet, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos on the mysteries of the Earth and beyond. Don't forget to leave a comment with any questions or thoughts you may have. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you in our next video.